So help me understand, a unidirectional microphone is somehow the mixture of a pressure microphone and a pressure mm -hmm. gradient mic. First off, yeah. a pressure mic is by nature omni, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a right. pressure mm -hmm. gradient mic yeah. is by nature figure eight mm -hmm. or, or yeah. bidirectional. Yeah. And let's say all, all the microphones, all the early microphones basically working with a membrane and sound reaching the membrane just from one side, let's, let's call it the front side. Um, by the way, pressure itself is not directional. The sound comes from something, but it's not a vector. So um, the microphone doesn't care where the sound comes from, as long as it hits the, the diaphragm from, from the front side. Um, it doesn't care if the sound comes from the front or from the rear, as long as the microphone is small. So we get something like an omnidirectional microphone. Microphone choice is important, but the acoustics of your space will have an even greater impact on the sound of your recordings. Learn how to make your own acoustic panels at audiouniversityonline.com slash acoustic panel blueprint. Back to the conversation with Martin Schneider. In the literature, it always says pressure gradient microphone. Um, but more correctly, physically more correct, it would be, okay, the difference of the two pressures, front and rear side, working both working on the same diaphragm, and it's the pressure difference that moves the diaphragm. And only if you make the microphone very small, 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 then this pressure difference turns into the pressure gradient, which is, which is sort of the differential, if you're talking about differential equations. That really helps yeah. to understand it too, a pressure difference, mm. because that's what it is. It yeah. outputs mm. the difference mm. in pressure between the front yeah. and back. Mm. So then how was this idea of a unidirectional microphone created? Yes, and then, okay, just looking at an omnidirectional and a bidirectional, the figure of eight. Um, People realized already bidirectional microphones are very nice. Um, you can get, ri get rid of sound sources at 90 degree. You can put one speaker in front and one on the rear of the microphone. They can spe both speak into the same microphone. But wouldn't it be nice to have a unidirectional microphone just pointing in one direction and attenuating everything else? People from Western Electric and RCA, if I'm correct, um, started to combine two microphones. They took two transducers, put them in the same housing, and one omnidirectional and one bidirectional, and realized, okay, we get a unidirectional result. 